Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Mama Set, and we're back with Endless Legends. It's been a while, new campaign, fresh start, previous one, uh, big long break. Wasn't sure we were going very far. Starting again, starting again, yes, starting again. Let's hit new game and start from there. Um, we're going to play as the LA again, we are going to be uh, purple, because we should be purple because we're the LA, it's just the trim and colour on the logos of the shifters was all purple. But apparently that's orange, no I'll go with purple, purple it is. Um, four empires, normal difficulty, normal to gain speed, not going to go with custom factions, advanced settings, fine with that. World side, we're going to go with the large islands one, for four players, um, six bit land percentage, just taking the, the default uh, large islands, so disturbed continents, random topography with a normal world difficulty. Apply and start. The uh, loading text is flashing past really quickly. Tip. During a siege, once the city fortifications have fallen, units in the city garrison start taking damage. You beings, fixed, inflexible, and slow, are not true Oregans, and do not see that she, our mother, as her life ebbs low, shall be delivered by the ally. For we who change, adapt and persevere will fight for her survival come one day. So heed these dire warnings most sincere. For ruin comes to those who bar our way. Love the music, love the the voice work on this game, it's just beautiful. So, here we are starting out. Alright, let's refresh my memory. Tile output. Okay, yeah, it's the tile outputs. I wouldn't mind having the hexes on just for a bit. So that's unspoiled ruins. That's wine. Steel stalks. So we have a settler. There's our city. We are apparently on the southern edge. So the east is our starting location. So we've got ruins and some wine. Being on a river is not bad, actually. Um, it would get us a bit more dust. Let's put the tile things on and have a look at what we've got. Um, I am tempted to nudge us further forward um, it's just a bit barren food wise up here whereas we've got this exotic exo ex exotic exotics um, there's a lot of food there's a lot of protection there I'm kind of tempted to see what we can do about going there And then some more unspoiled ruins. I think that will do quite nicely. What's this? Uh, it's glass steel. Okay, I think I'll take the wine for the happiness first and foremost. And um, yeah, I'll take that. Settler. Find me a city, please. Yeah, I'll take that wine. We'll grow that food pretty soon. Done. Okay. Founders Memorial. Load of extra bits and pieces. Don't think we immediately need extra units. Raise the city. No, I don't think we need to do that. We can't build any of the district yet because we lack pearls, which we'll be going out and getting. Settler. Don't necessarily need a skyfin. So let's grab. Founders Memorial, so we don't really have any else to build at this moment. We'll focus on growing the city. At the moment we'll grow in six turns. Building this in 15. Alright, let's grow and then we'll worry about the extra buildings in a bit. Alright, we still have our army with our hero, Zyros Bright Slash. There's various bits of equipment. Let's look at the auxiliaries. We want the one that gives improved vision. 
and we will spend a little bit of our existing cash just to give you a slight so you're a ranged unit a little bit of an extra boost crests armies and euros that's your army diplomatic status we've not met anyone yet quests research city screen core of it we've got no extra bits and pieces right there we go heroes skill tree is what I was looking for all right don't have any skill points just yet so we're good for that so search so we have it five glass steel and three pearls all right thank you very much I can't search anymore. How much movement have you got left? One of five. Well, head up over there for your next turn. And the last thing we need to do, I believe, is worry about what we're going to be researching. I am not going to go for the weapons tech quite so early this time. I think we went for it early last time. I don't think we gained very much from it. What I would like to get is more research overall. So, Parley and bribe. That is probably going to be pretty useful early on. The sewer system, which is the health and happiness. Improved food. Improved food. Cash. Lots of extra mining and the rest of it. So we start with the I want already researched. Pillage. Mercenary market. Mill science. Alright. Um, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I think I would like. food um, then I would like to be able to parley then I would like to build the library for research and then I will probably want the cash in areas where uh, then I want that one then I want that one military science no then I will probably have the pit, and then we'll go into the sewer system. So that should get us uh, seven things, which should get us enough technology knows on the next one. But we'll worry about that in a bit. All right, end turn. Not a bad start. Pretty happy with our resources. Ooh, Pearls of Aurogia. Well, Aurogia brings forth a fruits, fruit, and winter. It's been a sign that once again the time has come. The epistle of page fade. So the burden pulls to me. Taking the turn of the gardens as a signal. So it sounds you guided these scrolls. Pearls of Winter Fruit. Okay. Once you find the Skyfin unit, it will join you. Search the indicated ruins to gain control of a Skyfin unit. Alright, well I'm right next to that. Army. Go there. Thank you. Your people converging off centuries of wilderness, you lack only the Skyfin, a powerful ally with his help, opponent pearls. So we've got 10 blood crystals. Alright, so reward is 10 blood crystals. Search the ruins, so we gain 2 pearls and a Skyfim unit. New objective, build the altar of Aurogia. You will need to gather enough pearls by searching ruins or by collecting the dark season begins when it um, breaks into the surface. Alright, so we'll get 10 blood crystals, which apparently are a booster for army attack. Alright. So we need to search ruin. Now, can you? You don't stack, apparently. Too big to merge. Right, so you don't stack. Fine. In that case, auto explore for me. In the interim, you come over here and search this. New quest, Master of Luxury. Auriga is, ri is rich with resources, but natural and magical hieroglyphics and ancient ruins to get how his luxury can be attained, wealth of birds, bum beyond the wealth and trains of Exploits and luxuries. Build two extractors, exploiting one or more of the following. We get an augmented extractor. Okay. Dye, emerald, gold, spice, or wine. And you are cold grassland. Let's have a quick look at our quest list. 
dye, emerald, gold spice, or wine. So we have available immediately under our city is wine in this square. That's glass steel, that doesn't count. So we'll need to keep looking. Oh, no, don't go there, my friend. I would like you to go in the opposite direction to where our other sky fin has gone and find out what's over here. Don't quite know why our flying unit felt the need to sail around that corner. Oh, looks like we found the next district. We picked up some pearls for our trouble. Counted a new faction, the Kazani. The Kazani generate energy not from food, but from fire. They live in cold, dry, wetty, barren areas, a form is defined by a very intense and resistant skeleton, around which fire and dusk coalesced. Alright. Plus five influence per pacified village. Flying demons. Nice. And you are in the next region. Okay, fair enough. Which is cool. No, nope, we can't see it yet, so we just got used. That's the ruins that's been explored. We're over here, and we were heading to there. Gorgeshi. All right. Do we have any more moving points? No, we don't. Come up to here. Can we not get up onto that? Apparently not. All right. We'll get, we're going around. Mountains of the tundra. You would just spend a vast amount of energy boarding, and then you just wandered off another direction. Not the brightest scout in the world, is he? Yes, get up onto there. Oh, what's this? Count the manufacturer, the little Geshi. So these are cavalry. Banished after a series of feuds, the roving clan families left their life in the cavern cities, exchanging the luxuries of merchants for the hush of warriors. The clan's secrets of beast control were brought to the great Burdamak lizards. Turned into a field some heavy cavalry. Okay. 0.5 resources per fastified rebuilt the village on luxury resources director. Alright, thank you very much. We can't parlay just yet. Getting that next. Cultivation in two turns. So we'll come back and talk to these guys, but they'll be pacified village for this area, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do try and think what basically doing a tool run. But that's some unspot ruins, so we will head to there next turn. Let's try to get ourselves ten pearls. Oh, heads up. Gained enough experience. So what do we get? Plus one movements on everyone in his group. Better loot. Army skill. Ignores, the, ignores penalties from difficult terrain. I will take the difficult terrain one to start with. Buy that. Right, thank you very much. So that means we will just be able to move that much more quicker as we go about our business. Brick wall. It's a shield. Requires six of material we do not have. Alright, fair enough. And two pearls. Our quest was... Build the Altar of Riga. To do that we need ten pearls. Alright, so, quick check on our city. We are one turn away from growing. And we are ten turns away from the Phantom Memorial. Research complete. Cultivation. Next up we have Language Square. Ready in eight turns. Which we'll be able to come back and have a chat. The Jotus. Ancestors faction bred for blood sports as watch beasts. Two headed ranged units. So they are up in this sector. And we are to be found part of this place is called Uard. So we'll learn a bit more about that. So that is another wine. There's another wine deposit. Interesting. So plenty of wine to the south. You got your movement, you do indeed. Come to here. The Geldris Ice Wog Cavalry. 
found in packs of wolves driven into inhospitable territory. So you're up there. Can't talk to you just yet. But you might interest. So this is the boundary of that sector. In the interim, I think we will probably come down to the center over here. Population has changed in one of my cities. Yes, it has indeed. Carry on. All right, so if we grow, it's 10. Or we can have the Founders Memorial out in three turns versus nine turns. So let's reduce that by a fair chunk and get that out a little quicker. Just watching this guy fly. Nothing of interest. That's a shame. Get some more experience up. So once this is done, what we will do is we will queue up plus five per population working. Minus four upkeep. We've got four on that cash. Oh, Delvers we found. Dredge inventory. Deep origins of the humanoids. Trapped from an earlier cataclysm. Or seed storage, 10% plus 10 food on city during summer, plus 10% on city. I think we'll go for that because it's the cheaper one. So we'll add that to the queue. And then I think I will spit out an extra military unit to go and join up with our front line. So we'll get that one out and then we'll probably switch to going back to growth. So you found the Delvers over here. Alright, so it's a nice solid inland sea over here. And you are... Alright, so you're the same as these guys, so you're more Geldris. Yeah, okay. So there's two over here, so these might be worthwhile making friends with. Depending on where we want to put our second city. Construction complete. Alright. Founders Memorial giving us a whole load of nice boosts to that. Not a great deal of effort in burning these guys down. So let's head up to over here. So that's a dead end. Nice little inland lake over here. Oh, we've got ourselves a thing. Search this. Ten pearls. Aha! That's what we were looking for. We wanted ten pearls to build our them of Aurora. So we got the Garth of the LIA, it's that one object that we can build, but apparently the key thing we need to build is the Altar of Aroiga. So, loads of more influence, get more food, so happiness, food, and influence. And for what I can gather, what we do is we do increase the rate of this, we build up around it. So we want to put it somewhere where we can build up around it. So we can't build the extractors just yet. We can't build the museums because we lack a mineral. So let's put you where we're going to most increase our ability. So here. This will give us a five food tile and a six um, production tile. Plus a fair amount of extra cash and a bit more science. Nice. You'll take 24 turns. I think I will probably have you... So we'll get the seed storage, which we'll focus on. Well, it depends. How quickly can we grow? Eight turns. Six turns. All right, let's get the seed storage for that extra significant boost in food. Any of our armies need movement orders? No, nope. they're all just gently floating around this bay, finding things for us. That's good for me. And you're out of movement. Successful search has given us 30 dust and 2 pearls. We are currently making a small profit, which is good to see. And we will carry on heading this way, trying to find ourselves some ruins. I think we will probably be heading back at some point, but we'll just keep going this way. You never know, we might end up... Uh... Yeah, well that's how far we'd have to go to right round, so we might as well just keep going. No immediate need for our hero to come back. Our city has its militia. We find 40 dust and 2 more pearls. Good to see. Got an extra bit of movement left. Let's pop down here briefly. And then end our turn. So we'll let our scout find go north and our hero will carry on heading. Let's uh, turn that off for now.
carry on heading this way. So you are... who? You're more Dorgeshi, alright, but you're over in it, so... Uraradan, Ostak. In that turn. Looks like we might be coming to the a rather definitive edge and border. Yes, we have. It's not much in the way of anything of interest. To my knowledge, let's have a look. Do we have any resources in this part of town? We don't. So there's a little bit of wine down here. A little bit of glass steel there, but that's part of the east thing. So we're going to be heading east, back, heading back east. So that's a region, that's a region. We've got two villages over here, two villages over here. Nothing of interest. Boo and hiss. How's our hero doing? Arms and units. Heroes. 54 of 80 XP. His health is fine. Good, good. Alright, well there's not a lot of point in keeping you there. While well, these guys are simply making their way back to the city. What we can do instead is assign you here and let's just quickly double check manage our heroes inspect yes okay right skill points faction what is it you do to cities Plus ten percent cools, plus we are in fact forecast is good, good, good. What is it the difference what difference is it do you make to cities? Alright, manager of city development, balance between possible improvements, so I will do it myself. You do something when you're in a city. I'll be asked if I can remember what it is, but we'll leave it be for now. Carry on. Language Square. Great. Alright, so that means we can now... Cecil Search. Give us 10 spices and 10 pearls. Imperial. Spices. Plus 50% food. Might as well run that now. No. What we'll do is we're about to do a food burst when we finish building the seed factory. So what we will do is wait until um, we finish the sea factory and then we'll look, combine our food into when we've all got the food in. So we'll get the food burst in at the most appropriate time. So I had spotted something. New Empire plan is available. Thank you very much. Oh, I nearly spotted something. I was trying to remember what it was. Trade routes, okay. Don't have any of them. Round up. Brown cities, available constructions. Let's uh, pop that window up a bit. Um, ah, yes, that was it. I was going to go and talk to these people and see what to do as they wanted. But we'll do that in a few turns once the army has returned home. To my understanding, yeah, so it'll take you five turns to come home, and at that point, when it'll be time for the hero, I'll be able to reorder re the hero. Hello, stranger. Hope our dealings out will be brief and peaceful. The encounter of the Emperor of Tabi. Indifferent. Can attack each other without provoking things. Encounter new faction, the Lizardy people. We can compliment them. Alright, so you're there, you are indifferent to us. Judge by your body language, you're not the greatest. How can we. We will compliment you. Nope. Close borders, declaration of war, I don't really want to do. Warn them, I don't really want to do. Send a compliment. 
to increase influence costs of negative actions, and decrease positive actions. Possibly just generally improve the Captain Universe. Yes, I will compliment you. Encounter the Empire of Them. Yep. Your knowledge of the uh, quality of the credit, your taste and good note is appreciated. So they're still indifferent, but you know, we've complimented them. Our army will come on home. Right, so that's now built. We're at 11 returns for this. Our fooding is now going to become significantly faster. So we'll basically just go through a growth spurt. Um, so let's quickly hit the Empire thing. So this will last for... No. Luxury resource, perfection for 10 turns. So we will go through a 10 turn food boost. We'll get the growth of our city up as fast as we possibly can. So we're making lots and lots of food. Currently happy. Plus one from food, plus one from spices. Yep. Where's our sky thing got to? Oh, you've gone all the way up here. That's how we've been able to discover these people. Oh, keep on wondering, my friend. You are a minor faction shown. The boss centaur cavalry. So while my troops have been moving around. No available heroes. Yep. My heroes have basically been sat population has changed one of our cities, and now it's growing in four turns, and you've found the ninja flying, the bird-like people, slightly scuttled in their appearance. Our hero, Zyar Slashman, has been earning experience points while he's been sat in the city, not necessarily doing a great deal, but doing half decent things. So we need that particular thing. You do use a shield at the moment with a one-armed crossbow, okay. Just comparing these two quickly. So that is superior offensive weapon, but the shield does give you decidedly better defenses. All right. Can we now? Yes, we can bring you back over to your army. We'll come right over to here because apparently, because of the nature of the terrain, it was a bit difficult. And we would like to parley. You would like ten wine. Alright, that's potential. We very possible. I'm currently doing public library. Um and then where was the wine? Gold extractor, wine extractor. That's quite a few turns away in our current order. Alright, I do want the library, but I will promote the wine and the order. And then I want the sewage system. Uh, plus two on terrain with science, center of majority. Yeah, alright, and uh, that one gives us more production. Now let's go science, dust, production dust. Yeah, we've got we've got river tiles, which is the main reason I got ever more interested in doing that than I was do previously. Not immediately worried about any of those ones. But I might come back to it later. Alright, that's that re reorganized. So the public library in four turns and then we'll get working on getting the wine up. Well we've got the wine we can pacify these people. In the interim we will come down off the mountain. And intercept that roving band of troublemakers. Thank you. So we're now up to four, growing in four turns. Which can basically keep growing until our spice mod spice modifier has gone away. And we are under attack. Alright. Standard position will be hold. I am ready to fight. Quest added, manual labour. Come back and search this room with Delvers in your unit. 
and a minimum of 10 titanium and 10 glass steel, we will gain a very, very impressive weapon plan that we shall have to build later on. Alright. To quickly use the iron by four, just melt titanium and glass and you need the help of people who invented it. Okay. So you're all quite close to me. I would prefer to have a bit more space on my hind. So I seem to remember that you guys gain a bonus from charging. So how far back can I fall? Quite far actually. Alright. My deployment's ready. Yep, attack that one. Attack that one. Attack that one. Mm, right, and your stance is whole position. Go... Aggressive. Attack, attack, and attack. So you'll come forward a bit first, and you'll come forward a bit first, then I will get to charge, change blows, I will get to then charge again. You've already had a reaction turn, so you don't do any damage to me, and then my hero will take a shot. Um, I'm happy with that. You'll scuttle, try and engage my hero, do some damage. You'll again scuttle. My guys will then uh, engage, charge to get an extra boost. Alright, my hero doesn't get to attack this turn because he got attacked by them. Killed them on a counter. They'll move up, get a bonus to charge, do no damage. My guys will just statically attack, not get as much of a boost. Um, I wouldn't mind it if you moved. Right, where can you... Yeah, it should be so nice to go over there, and then go to there, and then attack. Everyone else just straight out attack. Alright, so they've done that. They took 13 damage to my 14. Pulls you that prop to my turn. Try this again. Yep, same as result. I take a bit of damage, but I do get the kill. And then cycle through to clear out. So that'll be a chunk of experience. Hero took the damage. Basic units are fine. Everyone got a bit of a little bit of experience points. Done. All right, and with that fight, we'll end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Endless Legend. Our graphically interesting, kind of peaceful, kind of relaxing, kind of quiet. Turn that back off again. Civ style game, where we're going to explore and 5x all these things, but we're going to be going with a building tool version this time, so we may put one more sitting out, if I can find somewhere to put it. We're heading east of east. Next. Alright, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Marmoset. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment.